Hi friends, this is your tech expert Neil and you are watching howisol.com. In today's video, I'll show you how you can install Chrome OS Flex on your old aging hardware. This is a lightweight cloud-based operating system which is based on Chrome OS and was earlier being sold by Neverware but now has been acquired by Google and plan is to provide this operating system free of cost to everyone and there will be a list of supported laptop machines down in the video description. So this OS is at present in testing phase so it cannot be used as a daily driver but you can check it out whether it works for your requirements and how well your device is supported by the OS. You can try it out without installing so in this video I'll provide you step by step details how you can create this USB drive installer and how you can test it out and how you can install it in your machine. So make sure to watch the complete video and let's get started. The first web page that you have to open is the official Google's Chrome OS Flex installation guide. The links for this it will be down in the video description. The Chrome OS Flex is being designed to not work in all computers. There are certain computers that are certified by it and you can find the list of compute supported devices down in the video description and this page will you will see the, uh, this page basically what it says is that this is a certified list of devices that they will be supporting in the future and not all the devices at present are fully supported they are basically categorized in three different categories that is verified to work minor issues and major issues expected but in the future all these devices you can see over here there are models from Acer there is there are several models from Apple you can see and all major computer laptop manufacturers are listed over here so this this particular section is for just for the laptop manufacturers and for desktop there is a generic system specs which we'll look in next but if your device is listed over here and it's mentioned like that the current status is it has only minor issues or it works perfectly like verified to work then you're good to go if your device is not listed over here then you can try it out it might work but you have to keep that in mind that in future in the os updates it might stop working properly so that is the role of this certified devices so, so keep that in mind now let's look at the generic requirements for this particular operating system which you can find on the official installation guide over here here it says you require 64-bit computer either from Intel or AMD 64-bit CPU and RAM minimum requirement is 4 GB internal storage requires 16 GB and it, the system should support booting from USB drive and you have to have access to BIOS settings to change the boot boot configuration to boot from the USB drive and also there is one thing mentioned about the processor and graphic cards that that is all the components manufactured before 2010 will not work that well with this particular operating system and also there are certain graphic cards from Intel like Intel graphic media accelerator 500 600 and 3600 and 3650 these graphic cards are not supported Chrome OS Flex and you will face major problems while using uh, systems which are which have these particular graphic cards in them. Next step is to know the things that you will need to perform this setup. First thing that you will need is obviously a pen drive. You will need a pen drive of at least 8 GB size. The second thing is you will need Google Chrome installed. It can be either a Windows system, Mac system or even a Chrome OS system but it should have Chrome browser installed because the Chrome browser app will be creating the USB drive so and also you, you need to know how to boot from a USB drive you might require to change your BIOS settings to do that with that in mind let's get started we'll first install the Chromebook recovery utility to do that open the Chrome browser we have already opened the Chrome browser and we have to go to the Chrome web store the link for which will be down in the video description and on the Chrome Web Store, we are required to install this particular utility extension. You can, it is called Chromebook Recovery Utility. Simply click on this Add to Chrome button over here, and then it will ask for confirmation. Click on Add Extension, and this extension will get installed. Over here, click on this puzzle icon, 
and then click on this pin icon and then this extension will be visible over here close this and click on this icon spanner icon and this particular screen will be visible this is the chrome os flex usb drive creator tool so as mentioned before you'll require a pen drive that is at least 8 gb in size or you can also use a sd card but sd card will be slow so i'll be suggesting to use a fast pen drive usb 3.0 pen drive to make things bit quick one thing you should keep in mind that the pen drive will be completely erased so any data that is present on the pen drive will be deleted so make sure to take a backup if there is any important data present on the pen drive so now let's get started by clicking over this button get started click on select a model from a list click on select a manufacturer search for google chrome os flex over here and in select a product there's only one option that is chrome os flex developer unstable again it's making quite clear that this is not a stable version select that and then click on this continue button you can see the pen drive connected on the system over here click on this drop down menu over here and then select it i have connected my 32 gb pen drive sand disk cruiser plate so select it and then click on this continue button over here as mentioned before all the data on this pen drive will be deleted so make sure to take the backup if there is any important data present on the pen drive with that let's start the process by clicking on this button create now it will take some time first it will download the setup files from the internet and then it will install it on the pen drive so i'll fast forward it okay it has downloaded it and now it's verifying it and now it's unpacking the downloaded files now it will ask for administrative privileges grant it by clicking yes and then the final writing will start okay friends so it's about to finish and here you can see it has finally created our installation usb drive for chrome os flex now you can connect this installation usb drive to a system in which you want to install chrome os flex this will be the next stage of our installation click done over here the system which you will be installing chrome os you will need to know how to boot a usb drive in it i've got a detailed video how to find the bias keys for your particular system and how to change the settings to ensure that your usb drive is booted by a system it's on my other youtube channel at wishfulfill.com and i'll provide the links down in the video description i'll also provide shortcut keys to open the bias settings for different motherboard manufacturers that will be mentioned on the screen okay friends so now i'll try this chrome os flex on my 10 year old laptop this is a dell inspiron n5010 it is mentioned in certified devices list but it has been mentioned as it has got major issues so let us see whether this thing boots up or not i have connected the laptop with the pen drive you can see over here that's the pen drive and since this is a dell model I have to press the F12 key to change the boot device to my USB device. So let's get started first. Let's turn this computer on like this and now keep pressing the F12 key. And here you can see now you can select the boot device from this. So you have to change it from the hard drive to the USB storage device. So press the down arrow key and then press enter. Now it should boot Chrome OS Flex. Let's see okay friends it's booting you can see the chrome logo and it took around i guess 30 seconds it's still loading yeah this does not have an ssd by the way this is got a hard disk mechanical hard disk and i've not installed the chrome os at present so now running from the pen drive now you can see this is the welcome screen of chrome os flex just click on get started i'll not be installing it on this system i'll be trying it out in live mode so we'll click on get started and i just checked the touchpad is not functional so i'm using the external usb mouse and keyboard keyboard is functional but the touchpad is not working most probably with the proper driver it might start working in the future so we will select try it first I advise you to always check this option first before going for installation because after trying it out you will come to know what all things works with this particular operating system. So we will select this and we will then select next. Then it will ask you for connecting to the Wi-Fi network. 
and this is very important since this is a cloud operating system so it requires internet access without internet access you cannot do anything with this operating system so i'll just type in my password click connect okay some terms and services click accept and then you want to set this up for yourself or a child so you can set some parental controls if you want to do that since i'm be setting this computer for myself i'll select this and click next and then it will tell you to sign in you will have to use your google account i'll just use mine okay now I'll next okay friends so we have logged into my google account and then it's asking to whether you want to sync all your settings from your google account to this device i'll select accept and continue accept and continue select i agree to use google assistant i agree connect to phone accept and continue get started okay so it's working friends even if it's mentioned as having major issues it's still booting you can see i have booted into chrome os flex and it's working pretty smoothly for a 10 year old system and it's got all my bookmarks and all the favorites synced properly let's look youtube yeah it's slow of course it will be slow you cannot expect blazing fast system and we are not installed it in my hard disk this is a live version i am directly running from the usb stick so keep that in mind so yeah it's working i will try playing my own video and yeah it works flawlessly so that's it friends thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel howasol.com to watch more such informative tech guides this is neil signing off bye